why we're here is because God, God is able to speak about the big things of life of significance, who we really are, and what is true about eternity. I love the scripture about eternity. This is for you, and you too can be in heaven. Jesus said this, The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are the angels. The Son of Man is going to send out his angels, and he's going to weed out of his kingdom all those who do evil and cause sin. Directly again, Jesus said, Jesus said, All that the Father gives to me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I will never drive away. Jesus said, for my Father's will, for my Father's will, is that all who look to the Son and believe in Him will have eternal life, and I'll raise Him up the last day. The Father's will is that all who look to the Son and believe in Him, I'll raise Him up the last day. So look to the Son, repent of your sins, ask Him to forgive you, humble Him. God comes to the crowd with His grace to the humble. Come to God humbly. And ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Surrender to Him. A, a prayer that I've had recently is, Jesus, in the morning, Jesus, I open my heart to you. I open my heart to you, Jesus. God bless you. Yeah. Well, uh, the Bible says the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The Bible says that we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. Before I came to Christ, I would say that I was the most tolerant person of the devil. I was the most tolerant person of the devil right here. You know, I used to be a practicing homosexual. I used to be in the New Age movement. And uh, I would watch pornography three or four times a day. And, uh, and you know, I, I, it's um, sometimes, you know, I feel ashamed of, of, ashamed of actually sharing my testimony now. And sometimes I'm ashamed of, I feel like I don't want to share the gospel, but the Bible says that the fear of man brings a snare. So I'm not afraid of preaching the gospel. For it is the power to say, first for the Jew and also for the Greek. And so that's why I'm out here today, because I'm really excited about God's work. And I know that Satan is going to try hard to shut me up. Because he cannot preach anything new. Satan is nobody who is original. Satan is not original. You know, if you claim to be a liberal in San Francisco and you believe that being a liberal means that you're required to be a Satanist, no, Satan is the old serpent. Is the old serpent. And he's finding his tricks are old. His tricks are never, ever brand new. But you know what? The, the thing is that you can't be a liberal and claim to be a Christian because you're, you could be made into a new creation in Christ. In Christ, everything is new. There's nothing old. You know, there's the old song that goes, Oh, Father, thou art unchanging. Thou never has grown old. Through countless ages, ever fresh, thy newness doth unfold. So, you know, the thing is that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever, but his mercies are new every morning. He is new every day. We could have new experiences with our Lord and Savior. You know, Jesus Christ is the most adventurous person in the world. Your sins will not make you very adventurous because for sin, you have to keep on doing the same things over and over again. You know, when I was, I'm just going to share this honestly, but when I was in that lifestyle of homosexuality, you know, I would go after the new and new hot each and every time through that through my practices and that lifestyle and it was never ending it was very tiring but in christ you know christ is the one who works through me so it's not my own efforts that i'm doing to gain my own pleasure so you know i i'm, I'm crucified with christ and it is no longer i that live but it's christ that lives in me and the life which now i live i live in the faith of the son of god who loved me and gave himself up for me so the thing is that you know, uh, on my 20th, uh, on my 21st birthday, I, I, I preached the gospel to my grandmother. And my grandmother sent me Satanist books back. And each and every time I had to burn those Satanist books back. But one thing that she told me, and I used to believe this in the New Age movement too, she was like, well, all religions are fundamentally the same and they're all roads that lead to God. 
and so I corrected her. I said, well, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to God but by me. And so I explained to her the truth, but now that I think about it again, through the power and the, of the Holy Spirit, you know, she, she did have a point, though, because all religions are fundamentally based on a lie. All religions are fundamentally wrong. It's, it, it's, you know, the Bible says that there is a religion, the pure and undefiled religion, but you can't, you, you're not saved by 